Hello, kindergarten readers. I hope that you really enjoyed the book because I stubbed my toe. I know I sure laughed when I read it. Today, we're going to look back at Because I Stubbed My Toe. We're going to look back and think about what do certain words in this story mean. Today, I want to teach you that readers can identify the meaning of an unknown word in a text. And one way readers do this is to stop when they come to an unknown word in a text and ask themselves, what does this mean? Then they can use the pictures and the words to help them figure out what the word might mean. Readers do this to become strong, independent readers. When I read this page, this morning I stubbed my toe. I was kind of wondering, what does the word stubbed mean? I can reread it and think about the words. This morning, I stubbed my toe. So it has something to do with what he did to his foot. Now I can look at the picture and think about what is he doing to his toe? Well, I see that when he stubs his toe, he hits it on the chair. So I think that stubbed the toe might mean to hit on something. The next part I was a little bit tricked on was on this page. And landed on a girl who dropped her ice cream cone. The word landed tricked me a little bit. I know that land can be a piece of ground and it can also mean to fall. Hmm, I'm wondering what it means in this one. So I might want to reread it and try both to see which one would make sense. And landed on a girl. It's definitely not talking about a piece of ground. And the cat did land or fall on the little girl's head. That must be what it means in this part of the book. Let's continue this work on another page in the book. Causing a biker to slide off the road. That word slide tricked me a little bit. I know that a slide can be like on the playground. And I also know that the word slide can mean to slip. So now I need to reread and think, what does it mean in this part of the book? I might want to check the picture and the words to see which one would make sense. Causing a biker to slide off the road. Hmm, they certainly are not talking about a playground slide. Instead, they're talking about how this biker slid off the road because of the ice cream cone. There was one more word in this book that tricked me a little bit. I wasn't quite sure what it meant. Think along with me and see if you can figure out what it means. Tromped down the street. Hmm. Let me think. I probably need to think about what is tromping down the street. The elephants are tromping down the street. And it looks like they are hitting the ground very hard. I, I know that because I looked at the picture. So I am thinking that tromped down the street means to walk very hard. Today as we were reading, we didn't just skip over those words that we weren't quite sure what they mean. Instead, we stopped and asked ourselves, what does this word mean? We check the pictures and use the words to make sure that we could understand all of the words in the story. Try this on your own book today. Happy reading!